Well, New York Fashion Week has come to an end, mm -hmm. but you know what that means. It's time to shop. Yes. <laughs> and here with the breakdown on which trends we should be scooping up mm -hmm. and which ones we should be skipping is style expert Liliana Vasquez. Liliana! Hey. Thank you for having me. Thank you for no, being you for here. By the way, you guys both look really good. Thank you. Just going to say it right now. Try for Fashion Week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we knew you were coming. Yes. I've been awesome. to dress to impress. Mm -hmm. all, well, you always. Thank this I'm you. seeing for the first time. I'm oh, liking okay. this. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, so now that Fashion Week has come to mm -hmm. an end, we have to know what were some of the biggest trends that you were seeing on the runway? Well, mm -hmm. I like to think of Fashion Week as inspirational for the everyday woman because okay. so much of what you see on the runway, it's not affordable and it's not accessible to who, you know, anyone that's outside of New York or LA. So what I like to do is kind of take all of the trends and translate that in a way that women can actually wear the clothes and mm. not feel like they need a runway to walk down. And thank so, goodness for you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way I broke it up was I looked at it as runway trends that you can wear right now going into mm. fall and winter and then trends that you can actually look forward to. And okay. one of the biggest trends that I think you can wear now, and it's what everyone is saying about Fashion Week, is that it was a complete whiteout in the sense that mm. you saw so many layered looks that were white on white. Okay. And it felt very fresh because you think of fall and you think of like darker, kind of richer tones, but you can totally pull off those winter white layers going into fall. So, so that Labor Day rule is just dead. Rules out the window out the when window. it comes to fashion. We okay. are breaking them every single day. So we one can of my wear white all year all round. All year round. So some of my favorites that did like great white on white looks were Victoria Beckham, mm. who has really come out guns blazing. She has really gained the respect of so many people in her community and just designs in a very commercial way. And when I say commercial, I don't mean that she dumbs it down. Mm -hmm. I mean that it's very sellable and very wearable and mm -hmm. women are willing to buy it and spend the money on it mm -hmm. because they look so good. Okay. That's important because a lot of times you're just dreaming about stuff on the runway, but exactly. now they can actually own it in their collection. Exactly. Okay. And then... So we like Vicky B. We okay. like Vicky B. Okay. We love a posh spice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she'd probably kill me if she heard me say that because right. I think she's trying to leave those days in yes. the back. No. But I will say she did do a little bit of a nod to her posh spice days because she did these really chunky platforms that were totally Spice mm. Girls to me. I was like living in the 90s watching it. So okay. yeah, so we'll have to look out for those come okay. next spring. Then I loved stripes. Um, and that's something that a lot of women already have right now in their wardrobe. So you saw a lot of stripe mixing. Um, Altuzara did beautiful stripe on stripe looks. Mm -hmm. And Altuzara is actually hitting Target stores. This week. Yes, I this know. week. So if you want to get a little bit of that high end on a low budget, you can pick it up at Target and start incorporating the trends that you saw on the runway there. Alice and Olivia always does very wearable stripes as well, but stripe on stripes. So don't be afraid to mix them. I was going to say, because you got too many patterns. Too many gets... patterns can sometimes be a bad okay. thing. So what you, the and how rule, do you avoid looking like a referee or Beetlejuice? Right. So what you want to do is yeah. you want to make sure that the stripes are not the same width from top to bottom. Okay. So you want to do a wider stripe on the bottom, then you do a skinnier stripe on the top. Gotcha. And I always say that if they can share one color in common, you'll pull it off like a pro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So easy takeaway tips. Then one thing we saw was culottes. And sometimes I say the word culottes and people are like, Mm, yeah. <laughs> so a uh -huh. culotte is kind of like an oversized capri pant. I okay. Know what a you know is. what it is. He's like, what? I'm listening. Like, okay. okay so it capri hits pants. you kind of okay. at the calf, but they're very wide. It almost looks like you're wearing a skirt, mm -hmm. but it's actually trousers. And oh. all of the it girls on Instagram are loving these. Ava Chen, one of my favorites, the yes. editor in chief of Lucky yes. Magazine, mm -hmm. pulls them off flawlessly. They look fantastic. You can do them in leather. You can do them in like a great cotton poplin. They re oh, you can even do them in but Liliana. Want. Cool. Do you know, She's trying to convince you, Lola's like, ah, no, no like, I'm gonna so get much. you a pair of culottes that you're gonna love. Okay. Trust me, I was not sold on this trend okay. until a week ago, and I got a pair at Zara uh -huh. for $69. Okay. So I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna invest in it. After Fashion Week, I wanna wear them every day. Wow. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Theory That's did hot. them. Okay. Um, yeah, really. Tibby, Veronica Beard, all great. My sister has a pair of orange culottes from Tibby, and they look oh, great on her. Those, are, those, I think that's what really put them on the map. Tibby mm -hmm. does a beautiful culotte. Mm -hmm. How do they look on her? They look great on her, but I just feel like culottes aren't the most forgiving. They're not the most forgiving, right. and I think if you're going to wear them, you have to go very slim on top. Okay. When you see them on the runway, you often get voluminous on the top mm -hmm. and voluminous on the bottom. No. That's not a look that looks good mm -hmm. in real life. I think sometimes you have to understand that what looks good in the pages of a magazine doesn't look good when you're walking down the street. People think you're crazy. Right. <laughs> you don't want to look crazy. No, yeah. that's not the no, goal. No. What are some other good looks that we can transition to make us look good into fall? Okay, so black and white is something mm -hmm. that I think always looks very chic. It's a mm -hmm. way to easily look expensive. And you saw designers like Rachel Zoe, that's kind of her palette. She really owns mm -hmm. that. And nothing to me looks better going into fall than black and white. Yeah. And then if you're wondering some of the things to kind of keep for fall and maybe store, I don't say toss yeah. because okay. I think 
there's better way things to do than toss it. You could donate it to the Salvation Army. Okay. You could take it to a resale shop. You could do a clothing swap with your friends so that okay. you're not spending a lot of money. Oh, that's a but, good idea. Yeah, but some of my favorites are, so you got to pick up plaid for fall. It's going to be everywhere. Okay. So in terms of prints, I would store the polka dots for spring. Got it. Okay. okay. Then robe coats. So they kind of look like a bathrobe, but they're very chic. Burberry showed them all over mm. the runway. Every celebrity has been featured with them. Mm. So they kind of tie at the waist and they're big and oversized and very dramatic I like instead that. of the pea coat. So not as tailored on the coat oh, for fall. Gotcha. Then okay. the statement earring has oh. taken the place of the statement necklace. Is that right? So I have probably 300 of these in my wardrobe right, right. now. Okay. And so an updated way to do accessories is with a big earring, kind of like what you have now, okay. almost See an the oversized earring. 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 Look at that. Oh, okay. It's like an oversized hoop, but now, a lot of focus around the face. Can you do that with your hair down, or does your hair have to be up no, when you're wearing it? No, it doesn't matter. Ear. Because it's nice okay. to kind of see it peek okay. out, like yeah. it is on her there. Yeah. Then when surprise. it comes to handbags, you're seeing a lot of the longer strap box bags. So it's all about function when it comes to handbags, as opposed to those big oversized bags that you kind of throw everything in. Everything is getting Lola smaller and streamlined. I think it's heavy as all get I know. Out. Men are always <laughs> shocked when they pick it up. They're like, what do you have yeah, in there? Yeah. They're like, how do you That's maintain your arms? arms? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm carrying. Have you carried my handbag? Yeah. Okay. So the and box purse is a little smaller and shaped small, like a little box. A little square with okay. a longer crossbody strap. It just feels, I think, a little bit more current, And that's a good fresher. for day and night? Day and oh, night, which is okay. the best part, because if you invest in one, you can carry it day and then transition it to going out at night. Got it. And then when it comes to shoes, we're seeing a lot of stacked heels as opposed to stiletto heels, specifically for boots, which I'm a huge fan of because it's comfortable. Yes. And when you say stacked heel, what do you mean? It's like a block heel, so it's almost like a square <laughs> stacked on top of each other as opposed to, oh, see, okay. okay, so Lola and I obviously love our stilettos. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, she's got a little Louboutin there, yeah, a little YSL here. All day. Right. But if you're gonna do a boot for fall, look for one that has more of a stacked heel or a block okay. heel. It gives you a lot of comfort, but still gives you great height mm -hmm. as well. Okay, yeah. that's very important. Yeah. You're learning so much. Oh, good. Yeah. And some great tips on saving money that you've been giving us. Yeah. Yes. We gotta okay. talk about your blog and your book. Please, oh my gosh. tell yes. us more. So my book is called The Cheap Chica's Guide to Style, yes. Secrets of Shopping Cheap Looking Chic. Yes. And it was inspired by a blog that I started in 2008 called The Cheap Chica's Guide to Style. And my whole mission is I worked at W Magazine for a while and I was 22 and right out of college and was barely making enough to stay afloat in New York. Mm -hmm. And I felt so much pressure to keep up with the Joneses, as they say, in my office. And I was trying to keep up with women that had been in fashion for decades. There yeah. was no way that I could shop like them. So it really was the inspiration point to show women how to have a focus on budget fashion with the focus being on fashion, not just budget. Gotcha. Because you can buy a ton of cheap things. You could go anywhere and buy things that are on clearance for $10. But mm -hmm. I believe in smart shopping. Yes. So mm -hmm. why not buy the $100 pair of jeans that looks phenomenal on your body, that washes and wears, and that you're gonna have for three or four years, as, as opposed to buying five pairs of $20 jeans that you have to toss mm, in a year. Point. So I think it's all about being smart with your money, but also being very stylish in the decisions that you make. And for me, you know, I think style has nothing to do with money. I think it's just all about your poise and your confidence and how you pull it off. Everybody loves a little designer, but there's always a ton of ways to get it for cheap. Like these shoes are YSL. I would never pay retail. I went to Woodbury Commons and I got them for $1.99 on clearance. What? It was the last pair. Thank wow. you very much. I've worn them to the classic black and white pumps. And if you get my book, there are so many great cheap, chic tricks All in right. the book. So yeah. your book and your blog. Yeah. Right? Book and the blog. And you can okay. check out the blog every day. We post every single day. There's never anything on the blog that costs more than $100. So it is fashion for the masses. Cheapchicas.com. Yeah. All right. Are there. Thank you so much. We've got to go shopping one weekend. Girl. Uh, we they that? would totally yeah. get along. Oh, we, These two shopping together. Oh. While they Squish work out their there. schedule, yeah. <laughs> you're watching a ride. Entertainment yeah. 360, yeah. we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not.